What do you build me up? Buttercup, baby, just to let me down And mess me around in the worst of all Today, I'll be reviewing the Big Apple Coaster outside of the New York, New York Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada. I just had the opportunity to finally experience this thing on December 29th, 2019, and I thought it was actually pretty mediocre. And so, anyways, today I will be going over why I thought it was mediocre. And so, yeah, let's just get started with this review. So what I really liked about the Big Apple Coaster is its theming. It is so cute. The trains are themed to taxi cabs. And not only that, but the taxi cab headlights in the front of the train and in the back of the train flash at night. Which I thought was super cute. Oh my gosh, that was a su super cute touch they did to the theming there. Nice job. And yeah, and so anyways, I think... This coaster also looks appealing when you're, like, walking on the strip and stuff, especially at night, as you can see here. Oh my gosh, it looks so appealing at night. I don't know why, but it just does to me. And yeah. So now let's actually talk about going in to ride this coaster. So you do have to walk through the hotel to ride it, like always, and then... When you get to a stand, you have to, like, pay $14 to get a pass, and then you have to wait in the separate line to get the pass scanned, and you have to, like, get it checked when you walk through a separate queue line, and then, after that, you actually go into the station. Now, this can be the exciting part, but when you actually go into the train and sit down, you'll notice there's, like, two different types of restraints on this coaster. A lap bar, which I didn't really mind at all, but but there's also a shoulder harness that like kind of hurt my shoulders. In fact, when I was in the hotel room later that night, my shoulders still kind of hurt from riding it. And yeah, so let's talk about the actual ride experience. Now, this coaster is shaky, man. Holy moly. Yeah, it is shaky. You heard that right. Okay, so outside of the roughness, the coaster did have some pretty fun elements like those turnarounds and drops that I really loved, so I'd give it that. But they were kind of hard to enjoy because of how rough the coaster was. But the good thing is, it was actually a long ride. It just kept on going. And yeah, so my, for my final score of Big Apple Coaster, I'd give it a 5. I, I mean, it was an okay roller coaster for me, but I mean, I've heard some people's opinions on it, and apparently they aren't pretty, And but I think it was okay. And yeah, so that concludes my review of the Big Apple Coaster inside the New York, New York Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada. Reply to me your thoughts on this video, your thoughts on this coaster if you've written it, and I will see you in the uh, next.